My name is Mike BAK Phony. Today we're going to talk about Gladiator Guild Manager. The game with a pretty sick uh, intro uh, soundtrack, not going to lie. <laughs> it is a, 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 a battle sim strategy or an auto battler. Uh, not too dissimilar from uh, TFT. And what was the other game we were playing the other day? Re like recent esports manager. Um, yeah, it is. It is. You collect. You basically collect champions. You gear them up. You put them to battle. And you, it's a fight to the death, and you try to see who comes out on top. You can upgrade your guild and all that good stuff. There's all kinds of good stuff you can do. Now, you should note, the game is not released yet. This is a closed beta. It's one of those pay a, a, a stupid amount of money in order to get into kind of beta. Now, there is a prologue that's available for you to play that's free uh, on the Steam page. However, it is n not... There's a lot. It's basically an old version. Uh, a lot, a lot has changed between those two, between this and the and the old version. Um, to give you kind of a rough idea, by the way, the closed beta cost forty dollars to get in, and it was the best forty dollars I've spent recently. Um, and I'm on OnlyFans. <laughs> like I mean, I subscribe to some pretty, pretty good models. Uh, but let me give you an idea of what the combat looks like. Right, as a typical auto battler, you got you have an arena. Right, you can you can zoom in and out. Okay, um, and this is the this is the totally accurate battle simulator uh, simulator where you can go through and just plop down a couple people. All right, let's take this guy right here. Put him here, 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 here. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, oh, 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 don't want to show that yet. We're not get there. We're not quite there yet. And we're gonna say, okay, let's see what happens when we have X number of these guys versus one level twenty berserker bro. Look at this. Bam. Here we go. Oh, God, it's getting wrecked. Let's watch this in slow motion. Look at this. Ooh. But what if we don't have the time? Speed things up. This is taking forever. Of course. Of course our level 20 wins. So that's what combat's like. Got it? We good? We good? We good? All right, cool. So we'll go back here. I want to go new game. We're going to go difficulty hard. We're going to go permadeath to enabled. Uh, I played this on stream. And it was actually a lot of fun, so hopefully it kind of falls together the same here. It'll give you kind of a good idea, and I'll point out the things that are different between the... Uh, sorry, it's really catchy. Uh, <laughs> and I know all the words. Uh, so we're going to skip through some of the dialogue here. There is some story that... Um, uh, we'll just skip this guy. Uh, that you could go through, kind of introduction to the characters. Up left corner you have uh, three characters that you, you can actually gain faction with. Um, and gain favor with. We're going to pause right here. This is the time. So as time goes on... You will, and then we're here to you basically pay your gladiators their wage, uh, and then you get to the end, and you have to you, you could go to a tournament, and you could skip the tournament if you want to. So, what we're gonna do because this is permadeath, we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, we'll be able, actually, we'll kind of be careful. Um, we're gonna go to the, the, the gladiator market, we're gonna pick up some soldiers first, and we'll just pick up some lobies like level one. We'll build them from scratch, right? Uh, this is a, these are their stats. And it's a knight, Pendul Pendulian Stone Fury. If you don't like that name, you can click on your green name after you buy it. Um, you have two item slots here. You notice that there's four that are locked. Uh, you have to unlock those by upgrading the, for example, this guy here has a building that's associated with him, the barracks. And so I would go through and I would click on the barracks and I would upgrade the barracks like so. And of iron stone. Oh yeah, I don't have an iron. Right, right. I haven't done anything yet. Um, and I would upgrade the uh, the barracks, which will allow me to have two more slots. And then upgrade it again, and I would get two more slots. You see how this works? So I'm gonna go through and buy a couple cheapies. Uh, let me see. I'll take this level. This guy's pretty basic. So we'll go ahead and just take him. Right click. Uh, we'll see a level one. Teach the deadly, but she has a trait here. Broken ribs. The battle starts. Stamina is reduced by thirty percent. See, uh, that's why she's only seventy-five gold. But you know what? They're not gonna last very long anyway. So let's go ahead and grab her too. <laughs> We're just gonna grab just, just basically one of everything. Um, let me see. So you notice that this one's like one hundred thirty-five gold. This guy's one hundred ten gold. This guy's sixty gold. So there's sixty. Whatever. Oh, well, he's sixty gold because he's level one. But he also has a trait here. We want to take a look at. What is this one? Uh, starts battle with 40% less stamina. Fuck it. Yeah, let's just get like all these like super cheap and broken ass people. Um, and then we'll see. What are we missing? So we already got the, the boyer. We got, uh, not boyers, we got archer. Yes, of course. We got archer. We have our, our berserker. We have our knights. 
And um, that's all we could really get right now. Because we're seeing an access to the Deathbringer. I wonder if we could go ahead and unlock one of these things very quickly. See, 201570. We might be able to build one of these other. Let me see. Frost Tower. Oh, we need rock. Well, hold on a second. So the Fire Tower just needs rock. I have 20 rock right now. It does not require, uh, uh, does not require uh, logs. Right? So what I'll do is actually go to the bank and I'll sell some of those logs. Um, let me see. So what I need um, to buy stone. So actually, no, first we'll buy the stone that I need, which was, what was it again? Let's see, guilds, let me see, uh, 35, so I need 15 more stone. So we'll go to the bank, we'll say, boop, 15 more stone. Oh, you know what, 20, 90 gold, cool, we'll just buy it. Um, so now we'll go to the guild, and ta-da, we can make one of these, we'll buy that. Done. I have 85 gold, which is not enough to buy another gladiator that I want, which is 135 gold. So go back to the bank, and I'm going to sell some of these logs. So let's sell some logs. Uh, 25, let's keep going. Uh, let's see, I don't, need, I don't need, was it 135 I said, I think? Something like that. Uh, so she good, sell, good. And then we'll go to Gladiator Market, and then we'll go ahead and snatch her up. Look at this, bam! Hey, I've never actually used a, uh, um, a, a Pyromancer before. She only has one attack, it looks like, Sky Fire Bolt. So she shoots Fire Bolt, dealing 85 damage uh, to enemies in 1.71 area. So I'm, I'm out of gold, I'm out of stone, I'm out of all kinds of stuff. <laughs> now I'll tell you, actually, here we go, here's a tip. Uh, if you're playing Permadeath, which is a lot of fun, but I don't recommend it right away, um, I would say, go ahead and sell these Mana Crystals, because you don't need them at all. They, 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 don't, they do nothing, because the Mana Crystals are used to res your characters and is permadeath so they die this is something that's probably going to be fleshed out a little bit better uh in the future uh but for right now that you don't need them like maybe they'll have like a different purpose or something like that and like a future update who knows uh i see item market i have 120 gold now i go to the item market and uh this is very league like to me right <laughs> just a huge shop lots of stuff uh and from here i could go ahead and purchase some like purchase consumables if i wanted to like this is a minor strength potion you don't get the control but when they use it they just use it um same thing with the health potion you don't get control when they use it they just use it when they need it uh but what i'm gonna do is let see she, she functions off intelligence but i can't afford to well i have, I have nothing, nothing intelligence based here this is increased health by 150 and uh stamina by 30 and strength by two points so this is a good all-arounder this helmet uh, and this right here is agility by 10, 10, 10 points, which is also pretty good. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab this first. That way we can just basically spend all of our money. And we're going to put this on, you see this guy's got a stamina issue, right? 40% stamina less. So we're going to give him a little bit of extra stamina. He has a stamina of 155. So what is that? 40%. Wow, that's a lot. So this is going to help him somewhat. But it's still not going to, like, you know, undo this, the damage that that does. And you could sell the guy back if you want to, right? If you're just like, ah, eh, you know, I'm going to sell him back. You could do that if you like. Uh, also, you can choose a custom head. You could change the name if you wanted to, to, you know, um, uh, Benny and the Jets or something. I don't know why that just came up. Uh, and then from here, you could go through and you can find some PNGs if you want. I'm going to try to find some real quick. Let me see PNG. I just have to grab the... Uh, let's see. Here we go. And we'll say copy full name to clipboard. I'll put that directory here. And then um, I can just go ahead and... Do, 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 boop. And then I have a whole list of different... You know, I, these are basically just all like old emotes and such. And I can put these... <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Uh, and we can put these on as the head. So now, I love this about this game, right? But when you're playing Permadeath, you're not really, you don't really need to do that. Um, let's go and pause real quick. Now, you see right here, upper right corner, we have a couple of, t of, uh, of things, uh, quests we could go do. And we should do these because this is going to help get us kind of started, uh, get us some money, get us some... Uh, uh, some stature with some of these guys. So we'll go help raising dead. So it says a few half witted peasants have blocked off the graveyard, preventing my, ne my necromancers from doing their work. I beseech your gladiators to give them a nice thrashing and clear the way. So we'll skip a lot of the story stuff here just so we can get some of the combat, but you could, we'll read some of them. So let's go. We'll start thrashing re 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 real quick. Difficulty of the battle, friendly battle where gladiators do not die. Uh, so it's a, you know, two. Um, uh, and the difficulty could change, it could get pretty insane, right? So let's see, we go to another one, help raise, okay, let's see, help raise friends. Oh, they're both the same, basically. Um, and this one is, uh, two, no, two gladiators can be put in at any given time, right? So that's your maximum output there. So here we go, we got two players here, two gladiators, going to put down our, our pyromancer, and we're going to put down our berserker, of course, because we want to see him on backwards ass head. <laughs> and then we'll go fight. Here we go. And the fight is on! <laughs> Ooh! Oh! 
Oh, come on. Oh, I lost the fight. <laughs> Uh, but they don't die because, you know, I think they are pretty serious when it comes to their dead. <laughs> Let's go to another fight. Let's try it again. We just had a bad combo is all that was. Although level two, big difference between level two and level one. Man. If this guy could just take a beating for a minute, then we'll be all right. As a matter of fact, let's start them further back. That way we can get a couple hits off before they get here. Here we go. Are you going to shoot? There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm getting thrashed. <laughs> That's what I get for buying the bottom of the barrel characters. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't I can't you can't resume game while dialogue is active. Oh, there's no dialogue active, so the game's bugging out a little bit. They're pretty serious. There we go. Oh, let's speed things up a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. How funny. <sighs> so wait, is no combination of my dudes are gonna do anything? No, 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 no. That's not true. We need to. There we go. She'll start striking right away. Incredible. Incredible. Come on. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I should not have gone for the, the weakest ass dudes. That was a mistake on my part. Well, let's keep going. Dialogue. Yeah, dialogue. Yep, 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 yep. We'll keep going. We're going to do a... Um, we're going to go and go graveyard here. Wow, level two. We're gonna we're do, we're gonna go right into this fight, okay? Uh, Cause I have better luck here with having more characters out on the screen. So we'll do. Here we go. We'll do two, two. So I can put three people out. Let's put one of you, one of you, one of you. Actually, uh, these dudes kind of thrash, so it's pretty good. We'll get this guy out there. There we go. Yeah, these guys are these guys are pretty good at handling. Wow, those. I cannot believe how much damage output those those peasants those uh, peasants were doing. Now, I've got to be careful because my characters will die permadeath. There we go. Permadeath there. Get a swing off. Get a swing off. Get a swing off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the worst. Why is it that when I was streaming, none of this happened? <laughs> well, look what happened. Now I'm down to one. I literally have to start over now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. So we're starting over. So there you go. Permadeath enabled. Yes. Yes. Don't roll easy hard. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do normal because I got to show you guys the game already. All right. Okay. Normal. Yeah, skip that. Okay. Remember what I said? God damn. We did all that work. All that work. Let's see. I got 600 gold now. So we start off with a little bit more gold. Let's go ahead and take you. A three. Another three. And then we'll take another three here. Boom. Done. Okay. Where's our first fight? Let's just get this moving. <laughs> <laughs> for help raising the dead. Look at this. Same fight. Same fight. Here we go. You and you. Just do work. Because they're level threes. They're just going to, like, whack them. There we go. See? See that? What a difference. What a difference. Jeez. Levels are huge in this game, by the way. Like, a level seven can probably juggle two level fours pretty easily. Um, a level 20, as you saw in the uh, simulation that I did at the beginning, uh, can juggle like 41s, you know? So levels really do mean a lot in this. So it was my my bad for taking it for granted. Now, um, take a look at this. We can choose, we choose uh, one reward in this case, um, and we could see, I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, so it's going to make this guy unhappy or something, uh, and it's going to make this guy happy and I get gold. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, because I have two berserkers, uh, let's go ahead and take this right here. So it's 30% of damage, blocked melee damage to attacker. And then we'll go and click on this, right click, put him there, there we go. And then we will wait for our next event, or we'll go into, let me see what I got, 160. I can go ahead and get one more gladiator actually, squeeze one out. 110, let's get a swordy boy in here. This, oh, this guy's got a pretty good... Yeah, every time a gladiator uses defense, his strength is increased by one. Yeah! He's a two. What does this guy have? Hmm. Yeah, let's take him. Good, now we have a, now we have a full roster. Uh, let me see, so again, we're gonna fight uh, a group of, uh, of peasants. Good way to kind of get things moving, right? And your characters don't die, so it's just a nice little skirmish. There we go. They're gonna school these pretty quickly, actually. Ooh, we got a good hit off there. And there we go. That's right. Play him, play him. Okay, so now we could choose uh, two rewards. I could go 80, 
or two. Now these sell for, I think like 40 each, so there's no point in, might as well take the gold. Um, let me see, boost of sweat increases agility by two and moves people for, uh, for seven points. Wow. Um, I've never seen the boots of swiftness actually. I'm gonna get those. And I'll give them to. Let me see. Yeah, my sorty boy is pretty slow to begin with. Agility 6, movement 23. What is he, 16? Yeah, he's slower than, than these guys, I believe, right? Yeah, 18, 6. Yeah, so he's. Now he's gonna be a little bit faster. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, now we can go to a championship if we want to, which we're gonna do because you know we're trying to keep this uh, this show moving along after the um, um, slight mistakes at the beginning. So this is this screen here. I didn't talk about it before because I knew I was gonna die. But um, <laughs> this screen here is the um, the difficulty selector, right? You don't have to go on the go ham and just do the hardest difficulty. Uh, for every single one, which is over here, but you'll get better rewards. The gold resource item and a consumable item, right? Over here, you get, well, you basically the same, but here's where you start to lose stuff here. Um, let's see, five things and five things, yeah. So, uh, it would be wise to try to knock out, I mean, if you have, these are level two, level threes, so it's like, okay, well, it's a priest and um, a bug, and you can click on them, you could see, ghoul, sorry, uh, and you can see they have a melee attack with 324 and a stamina of 20, or sorry, a movement of 20 uh, and 320 health. So these guys, and by the way, you could also change their heads if you want to as well. Um, but these guys are pretty much, um, nope, uh, are, are, are gonna be fast. They hit pretty hard, 324 when your health, when your max health is what, like, uh, uh, 860, like, yeah. And, and the cooldown on that is pretty low too. Cooldown is 0.81. So they, they're fast attacking. They're very fast attacking. And again, keep in mind that I, that this is permadeath that I'm on. Uh, and the, um... The priest can cast a bubble that uh, will will basically shield them for yeah, here you go two hundred fifty two points. That bubble's gonna come out like immediately. Like don't 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 expect it to not happen. It's gonna come out like immediately. So if I'm gonna fight this guy, which I'm going to, I'm gonna need to be a little bit uh, careful with my placement of characters. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the way in the back here, um, her, and then he's gonna go in the front here. My 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 uh, sword and board guy, um, and then back here. So that way, he gets there first. He's the fastest anyway. So he's gonna get there first, and he's gonna start taking a beating from this and start trying chipping away at that health. This guy's his main attack is um, not melee range, right? Like, sort of like, well, sorry, it's like a mid melee range. You can see right here, long axe attack uh, range has a minimum of 1.15, which is why whenever guys get close, they start punching because the punch is their way to push them back. So. So, um, or is it kicked? Yeah, the kick also. Yeah, it kind of kicks the enemy and then knocks them down. Exactly. Uh, so you're going to want to, um, you don't want him to be in the character's face. You want him to kind of approach and let like somebody else kind of take the, they do the taunting here. I mean, it's like an auto battle, any auto battle. You have a little bit of strategy also with the way you place things, right? So here he goes, going to fight. Let's see if this works. So he's going to take a little bit of a beating. Perfect. And then we go in. N no loss. Nothing at all. Too easy. Um, same thing. We have two of these guys now, but it's only but it's versus two, versus two here, maximum gladiators. So, uh, so which two do I think are going to be able to take this? I think just basically these two. Period. There's going to be no problem at all. Here we go. Just a couple of whacks and that's it. Yeah, kick him, kick him, chop his head off. Look at his head falls off over there. If you chop their head off, which that attack does, um, that's part of its execute, right? Uh. Then they cannot be revived because there are necromancers in the game. There's like necromancers, pyromancers, um, uh, like cryomancers. Um, there's hunters. There's beasts. There's, I mean, the game has so much, like so, so, so much. Th this, I mean, already just this um, beta that they have, which is relatively short. Um, when you're playing on uh, permadeath you get so much more out of it, you know, because you're cycling through players and you're having to do some fights over again and everything uh, on like lower tiers, just kind of collect money and whatnot. And so there's actually a lot of content in that $40. Now, oh, by the way, uh, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but they did say that the full or the, the, the release game is going to be much less than $40. And that, that's it. So it's going to be much less than $40. Whatever. Might be, maybe it's going to be $39.99. I don't know. Um, ooh, did I make a smart? Did I make a smart? I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. They got a couple good whacks on my dude there. 
So next fight. Two archers. Okay. Hmm. Archers have a knockback, by the way. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that off of him. I'm gonna put it on him. And he has to move to 30. Like this is fast, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is put him in the front so he can just start basically booking it. She's gonna just start pelting from a distance. So she might actually have her dead before. So I'll put him here. Um, and we'll see how that works out. This should do good. This should do well. <clears throat> see, those shots have a knockback. So boom. Whack. Good. There we go. There we go. Five and five versus three. Let's take a look. Now, if you get into a fight and you see, like, the configuration of this and you're just like, yeah, that's not going to work out. Um, you could just go change fight and just switch to something else if you want to. But we're going to try to go five of, we're going to try to go all five of five purples just so we can get the maximum amount of gear here. Um, let's see. Uh, boop. Boop. They're going to be able to claw through this pretty quickly, actually. And, um, yeah, let's have her back, you know, uh, let's give this guy some XP. Let me put him back a little bit because he's going to die. <laughs> Just want him to have that XP. Ooh, God, oh God, he's targeting it. No. Oh man. Oh God, he's still alive. He's still alive. Kid him. Go, oh, Jesus. Why do they change focus? Well, we lost one. <laughs> we lost one in the last fight. We were just trying to get him some XP. But like I said, man, the levels really, truly matter. It's a good thing I took the gear off of him, too, actually. Jesus, that would have sucked. Lose all that gear? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all right, so let me see. Let's go ahead and um, do some more of these side missions here. And... Um, let me see, help raising dead. Yes, yeah, it's getting bigger, but we got a lot of loot here, too. I have 480. Can I have four in this group? I can. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend some money and get a... We'll get a higher level. So four, does there five in here? Do any of these guys have any cool? What is this one? Gains XP 20% slower. <sighs> Same price, okay. Two, is XP slower. Okay, we'll take this guy. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and give him this uh, health. How about there? There we go. And then item market. Let's go and save our money. Alliance with the ne high necromancer. Oh, uh, we built a friend relationship. Okay, let's hear him out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So this is story stuff. So we'll, we'll click past that. So we have some resources here that we can get, which we should. This will just take a minute. Good practice. So we're basically we're we're training these um these peasants really is all we're doing. Oh, it might have been a bad, it might have been a bad um pick. Oh no, his punch is still doing quite a bit. And he's got a good block too. Look, block. Good. And the the damage reflection from his uh gear. Okay, so choose a reward. What do I want? Let's get some stone. Good, help raising dead. We'll do this one as well as so we get all this loot. And then we'll come back, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with our money, we'll do another tournament. Okay, so we have four people, so basically all of them, good. Good. Oh, this knife throwing. Oh, ladies. Look at them. <laughs> Don't worry, they're still alive. <laughs> it was just training. It's good training. Uh, let me see. Intelligence. No. No. Intelligence. But characters. Agility. And intelligence. Okay. So obviously it's going to be this. So we'll take that. Oh, do I get two? No, just the one. Okay. So now we're going to go through. We're going to we're gonna get some items. We're going to try to get these guys hooked up as best we can. And then we're going to go into our fight. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open. Put this there. And then let's see. Do we have another one? Yeah. This is perfect for them. Boom. Okay, now we need something for this guy. 30% um, block, this would be a good one. So, boom, pop this open, throw that in there. Here we have uh, 200 gold left. Let's see, agility, movement speed. Ooh, more movement speed stuff. This stuff is sexy. Sometimes, I mean, I feel like I've, I've, this is my first time seeing these boots today, and now I see them all over the place. Let's go and grab some boots then. Yeah, let's grab boots. Let's see, intelligence, don't care about intelligence. 
This is um, agility 10 points. What was the agility on this? 13. Okay, yeah, this is way better, period. So boots for you. Boots for you. And we are hooked up. Cool, let's go into this fight. Uh, this is going to be the next location, the farm. Six of these. Here we go. Last fight of the day. Next fight. Seven and seven. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. And these is both these are both ranged, by the way. So it's a good thing we got these speedy speedy boots on. You get right up to the front line, just ready to go. Down set hike. <laughs> Here we go. I got a net attack. There we go. See, he has nothing for melee, basically. Good. Just rush him. Next fight. Two one two two one two. So we just got three sword and boards, and we have an archer versus two versus two. So we def definitely have an archer to take care of the rear archer there. And we'll put, um, how does this guy's attack? 78 damage. How much health do I have? 1100. This one, 950. We'll put the 1100 down. And not to mention also the reflection of damage. Good. Perfect. The sniper's so good back here. So good. See, eight and one. This would be easy. Yeah, it's gonna be easy for sure. Uh, we'll do you and um, we'll do you. Let him just take the take the beating while she just snipes them. Perfect. Perfect. Two 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 three two 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 two. Okay, cool. We're two people. Ooh, this might be kind of fun. Mm, so I think it'd be the same thing, but with um. What was this guy's ailment here? Oh, agility, yeah, whatever. Give her a little bit more room to get a, maybe one or two shots off. Ooh, ooh, man. They don't need heals or anything in between fights. They basically just do their fight and then they come back and they're fine. Um, four and 15. Oh, but I get all four of my people out there. I think we could do this. Let's put this guy in the front. Meat shield. There we go. Put her back here. She can just start sniping right away. All right, here we go. Just annihilate. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Get him. Get him. <gasps> oh. What? What? No. No. <laughs> okay. Open it up. So we got 420 and 10 crystals. That's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, so here's what happens. Absolutely nothing. I lost all my champions, but that doesn't mean shit because I have money. Not only do I have money, but I have things I could sell. I'll go to the bank, I can take these crystals. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm just gonna sell 15 of these crystals. This is a bank right here. Now I have a thousand gold. And I can turn around the same way I did in that first game that we bailed out of right away because I was it was just a little too easy for me, right? Um, I could go through now and and start replenishing the ranks pretty easily. So, so this run isn't over just simply because I died. I'll grab you, I'll grab you, I'll grab, uh, let's see, nobody else, update the shop. Here we go, four, that's pretty good. Yeah, four, is that only four we got? Yeah, okay, so to her, and then we'll grab another five, and then look, we're back in business. We're back in business. We do lose those items though. Like, this is not all a win or anything. We lost those items, they're gone. Uh, so that part really sucks. <laughs> that part really sucks. Um, I mean, it sucks losing the character because of the money and everything you put into it. And so basically, I'm starting over here. I have to go through, and I and I, I have also I have not defeated the farm. Uh, thankfully, you get progress, you know, like I did, what, five out of six or something. So I still get the progress um, monies and all that. So that at least is good. Um, but there's still like, we try this on stream to try to lose everything, and I actually got it down to I had five gold, zero resources, because I sold them all. Uh, and I basically just kept buying as much stuff as I could, and then dying. And even if you have no possible way to continue, the game still refuses to give you a game over screen. But again, you know, this is beta. You know, beta, 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 beta. Uh, so, yeah, just, you know. Um, but what I'll say, man, is I, I mean, I love this game. This game is, like, got massive absolutely massive potential absolutely if you're a wild WoW player like this you're probably looking at this right now like damn like <laughs> this is something i can play on the second screen or something like that it absolutely is right now it's pricey to get in right forty dollars to get into that closed beta no idea when the game is going to be released no idea when it's going to be uh available for early access 
None. It's just a game that you can get into if you want to for $40. You can play the prologue for free, though, to get an idea of some of the functions, but there's, like, you know, talent trees and stuff like that which have been remo removed, so you have to ignore some of that stuff. Also, the layout of certain things is going to be different. Uh, the GUI is beautiful, though. Man, the game, again, the game has got a lot, had a lot of work done to it in terms of, uh, uh a lot of love put into it in terms of just aesthetics and everything. They really nailed this, so that's it, boys and girls. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. The game is called Gladiator Guild Manager. Definitely another reason favorite favorite for me. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see ya.